close to fear and doubt. I stopped and turned. Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel, or welcome if you are new. I am Steph Sherry, and that is Nolan and Oakley over there by the back door. They are my little shadows. In today's video, we have so much cleaning and organizing to do in my kitchen and pantry and also my fridge. And I have a couple of new organization tools that I can't wait to share with you guys. But the first thing I'm going to do is clean everything in this kitchen. There is a lot of stuff that really needs to be scrubbed down before we get started on organizing anything. So I hope you guys will join me or just hang out with me for this video. But let's get started. The windows closed, the fear and doubt. I stopped and turned, trying to find out. Might be something I forgot, but all I know is that I miss you a lot, a lot. Seven days of eternity, seven days in another country. Every cell screams, stay right here, and my legs, they freeze us in fear. So about a month ago, one of my kids was microwaving something in the microwave and it had metal on it. I can't even remember what it was, but it left that burn mark in the back of the microwave. And I have tried every hack that I have found on TikTok and Pinterest and all of it. I cannot get the burn stain off the back. And then also I finally picked up one of these things. If you were here a couple of months ago when I was talking about this little cover that has the magnets on top. It has been in my Amazon cart for over a year. I've seen so many people using these and I've wanted one and I finally just bought it and so happy I have it. It works perfectly and it just comes right out and cleans easily. So either way, finally pulled the trigger on that one. And now I'm finally moving over to this really gross stovetop. My kids have been making a lot of like really quick meals like ramen, or just like breakfast type stuff on the stove and we are getting a lot of burnt on build up so today I'm going to take everything off and scrub it down really really well and get this shining again it never rings in California the sun is always shining bright People are smiling, making plans Hiding behind their shades And you're doing the same No rain, no flowers Nothing's growing where you're at Heart is fire, but baby I bet you're cold 
without me, even when it's 90 degrees. Without me, I bet that you can get it asleep in that bed, lying awake. Cause I'm not there beside you, keeping you warm and I know. I bet you're cold. You're so damn cold. My husband's absolute favorite thing to watch on any cleaning channel is people cleaning their stove tops. And that's just so funny to me, but I can see it. It's super satisfying to watch this get done really fast and go from dirty to super shiny again. So I'm really curious to know what you guys find the most satisfying in any cleaning video. It doesn't have to be the kitchen or it could just be like one specific thing per room, but what is your favorite thing to watch someone clean? For me, I actually really enjoy watching people sweep up really like dusty, crummy floors. Um, I don't know what it is about that, but I always love watching like all of that stuff kind of come to like a central point and get um, pushed into the little dustpan and taken away. So I don't know. I'm crazy. I'm a cleaning channel, so I enjoy these really weird things like that. But you're here, so maybe you do too. It never rings in California. The sun is always shining bright But if the sky would open up You're staying home, you don't get out You always used to love the rain But LA changed you No rain, no flowers Nothing's growing where you're Heart is fire But baby, I bet you're cold Without me, even when it's 90 degrees Without me, I bet that you can get it asleep In the bed, lying awake Cause I'm not there beside you Keeping you warm and I know I bet you're cold You're so damn cold I bet you're cold You're so damn cold flowers nothing's growing where your heart is fire but baby i bet you're cold without me even when it's 90 degrees without me i bet that you can get it asleep in the bed lying awake cause i'm not there beside you keeping you warm and i know i bet you're cold California The sun is always shining right So the stove top is totally clean and I'm going to put it all back together but I'm not going to lie on this same day I think probably an hour after I was done filming this part one of my kids came in here and fried something on the stove and the grease went everywhere and I could have just gone straight to my closet and hid in a fetal position. I was so <laughs> upset and I was just like, nope, not going back and doing it again. I did obviously go back and do it again because I wasn't going to let that sit like that and I should have made them do it, but it was one of the kids that go to work in the evening and so they were frying their food and then they were out the door and I was left to deal. So, eh. but next I'm moving on to this Keurig. So this is new to us. We've always just had like a 12, 14 cup coffee pot. And so I've only had this for like a two or three week period. And I could not believe that little drip tray down there. I had not even considered checking that out and it's probably a good thing I did because that was about to completely overflow so I'm just going to scrub this entire thing down and try to keep it clean now I know that I probably need to empty that if not daily um, every other day so that's pretty gross and it smelled really bad um, I didn't notice it until I had completely opened it and lifted it and I was like oh gross it smells like old cigarettes so 
because I said that, I wanted to bring that up a little bit. But when I was younger, I thought coffee was the grossest thing ever invented. I always wondered why people would want to drink this black tar. When I was little, I thought it smelled like someone was basically brewing something the equivalent of cigarette ashes. It was so nasty to me. Um, and so I, and, and then obviously, like to me, adult breath after like coffee. Oh my gosh, the worst. So now I obviously really, really love coffee and I don't really smell that anymore. But this little drip pan here, when I lifted that, that brought me back to that time. I'm like, oh my gosh, it smells like really nasty old cigarette smell. So maybe that's what it is. It's just old coffee or bad coffee. I don't know. Maybe all the adults in my life when I was a kid were drinking horrible coffee. But I'll be cleaning that so much more often because I cannot stand that smell at all. I know that story is so random, but do you guys have any like really weird things that just like drive you crazy? So certain smells that just make you like queasy or sick to your stomach. So obviously that one for me and mayonnaise. I cannot stand the smell of mayonnaise. And I know it's not a, like a super strong smell, but for me, I can totally smell it. And then another one is eggs. I just think that the smell of cooked eggs are so bad. Oh, and another one, um, cold like sandwich meat just smells awful to me. Like when it's closed up and then the moment you open it, oh, anyways, those are just so weird and just random facts about me. But you guys tell me like some stuff that makes you just like, turn your head when you smell it and maybe other people really like it but I don't know those are just totally normal things that people buy and I eat them but I think it's just so gross I don't eat mayonnaise though let's make that very clear so before I completely talk over this part right here <laughs> but this is my new organizer for my coffee pods and I'm so happy to have it I kind of wish it covered the entire drawer. This is a really, really wide drawer, so it was really hard to find one with the same measurements, but this is working out. It's totally fine. Those extras are gonna go to my husband's office, but I love that I could open this drawer and all of those K-cups are not gonna go flying everywhere. That was what we were kind of facing before. And so now we have them all organized in those little foam cups, and I will link that down below. They were super affordable, and so far we are absolutely loving it. So since the drawer was full of all of our tea bags, I am going to organize those in this. And this was a really fun surprise for me. I thought I was only buying one. I did not realize they were coming in a two pack. So um, I got so excited that I actually went out and bought a couple more boxes of tea. But I love how neat and organized this all turns out. You guys let me know what you think. And of course, I will also link this one down below too.
right away Can I just get away For a better chance At a grave moment And I'm just not getting any braver Cause nobody gets, nobody gets, nobody gets me I'm looking for faith, looking for love in every direction I'm looking for someone to show me the way When my map is torn up Give me a light when my torch is blown out Let me escape from my hideaway I give up all of my little addiction But I'm still stuck with some tough decisions, yeah Now I'm up against the wall And I'm looking for your Stuck with some tough decisions, yeah Now I'm up against the wall And I'm looking for your attention I don't typically drink tea until it's a little colder outside, but I love that this is completely organized and ready to go when I need it. I love how well that turned out. And now I'm moving in to my refrigerator. Y'all, I promise I feed my kids, but there, it looks like there's no food in here. And we've just been so, so busy and we've been eating out a lot. It's shameful, I know. But I am going to clear this out and clean it. There are some spills in here that I will show you closer. And then we're going to restock the things that we needed for this week. My two middle kids, 16 and 18 year old, are both on a youth trip with our church. And so they are in Missouri for a week. But they're also my snackiest kids. So we were kind of laughing because I'm going to be putting all of our drinks and just the food that we need just for this week. But we were thinking, I wonder who's actually going to end up drinking all of this stuff. And so the, what we were joking about is that we probably will end up having plenty of drinks left over without them here because they're the ones that typically grab everything so, so fast, but now they're gone. And so it'll just be really bizarre to make it to the end of the week and still have things in our refrigerator. And I don't say this at all to shame them at all. I promise I don't mind them doing it. It's why I buy it. It's for them. Um, but I realized that without them here, we might actually end up with like some drinks left over at the end of the week and it'll be a, an actual miracle. Yeah, you, you think you got the best of me, but just because I'm giving you my love for free, are things not? Thank you. 
And then there are definitely some spots that are still bare and they're going to stay that way because I don't have anything to put there. Um, so just obvious things are eggs. And then I still have probably 18 more eggs left in the box that I bought and I'm going to boil those and they will go in a Tupperware right here. And then we have these things and these are so good. We get these at Costco. They are just mashed avocado with a little bit of sea salt and I use that on just about everything and then we just found these for the first time um, so these are baby bell but these are plant-based so it's not real cheese um, my husband tried one and as far as like texture goes it feels the same he says it's a little bit different but it's still pretty good so just another alternative we're trying to stay away from too much dairy it really upsets his stomach so we also have these plant-based um, protein shakes these are actually pretty good they just taste like chocolate milk restocked our LaCroix this beach plum is my favorite and I usually can't find it in bulk except for like around this time of year so I jumped on that pretty quickly and then we had a bunch of soda left over from 4th of July we packed up a huge cooler of these um, and cherry coke is my favorite so good um, and then all of these here, we still have a ton left in the case. So as these go down, I'll just keep refilling them. Um, I actually have far too much water at this point. I keep buying it and I forgot that we already had a couple of cases. And then Snapple Apple is my favorite. They used to put these in glass jars, but now they're putting them in these little taller plastic bottles. I've never had Mango Madness. And then we also have a Strawberry Kiwi. 
Powerade, the blue one cannot stay in our house. My daughter will run through these so fast. And then Fair Life milk for my husband and I, since we're not doing dairy. And then this milk for my son. And then we have um, both plant-based butter. And then I actually been keeping these collagen eye masks in the fridge and they feel really good. They're soothing on your eyes. So I really recommend you put these in the fridge and keep them cold before you use them. I don't know if these are any good. I found them in Walmart. Walmart's doing this new thing at our Walmart. Um, maybe yours is too, but they have like this area kind of similar to Target's dollar spot. And I found these there for like $3 for this box. So we'll check those out. And then this is our little spicy area, all of our Cholulas. This one right here is my favorite. So, so good. And we're having tacos tonight. So those will be important. Nothing here, and I have absolutely no idea what's put there. And then condiments and our dressing. These are also dairy-free, and I haven't had them, but my husband swears by them, and so I'll be checking this out pretty soon. And then all of our creamer. This is our plant-based creamer, and then this one is for the kids who want to try to do some like frothy stuff with their coffee. So. This drawer I had to completely clear out. We wasted so much stuff and I usually just try really hard not to do that, but that was a huge waste. So the fresh items now are this head of lettuce that we'll use for tacos tonight, um, burgers later this week, and something else that I can't remember. Tons of tomatoes, again for tacos, um, and then I'll slice these up, even though they're just Romas, I'll still slice these up for burgers. Oh, and we had some spicy chicken sandwiches planned. So those will go for that. Purple onion or <laughs> red onion. Y'all, come on. It's purple. And then I've got two things here of green onions. We chopped those up for chives. We're doing baked potatoes. Um, that drawer completely empty. And then this bottom drawer is also pretty bare. But this is vegan shredded cheese. We have gone through so many different brands and they all smell so, so bad. This is the only brand we've been able to find that actually feels like cheese, tastes like cheese, smells like cheese. And I had to go to Whole Foods to get it. Um, so it's kind of a little bit of out, out of our way. And they're not cheap. So buying three of these was like $18. It's a bummer. But they're really, really good. Um, and then feta... We're not really eating it, but it hasn't expired, so I'd hate to throw it out. These are also lactose-free sliced cheese that we just found at a regular grocery store. Um, I think it's Borden. can't remember. Um, but these taste just like cheese. We've melted these on our burgers, and we cannot tell a difference at all. These aren't expired, but they've been in here for quite a while, and every once in a while, I crave these. So just gonna hang on to them my son loves lunchables and then we also have one bag of shredded cheese for my um, kids who are not following the dairy restrictions
Now I am going to vacuum and mop with this Tenco 2-in-1. It completely cuts down my cleaning time in half and I am still so, so happy with it. I've been talking about it for weeks now. So you guys are probably like, okay, we get it. You love it, but I really do. This one is definitely a little pricier, but Tenco also has some other really nice models and I will link their Tenco too. It is sold at Walmart and right now I believe they have a deal for I think just under $140. And this thing is just truly a game changer for me. So I definitely recommend it. And I'm gonna keep shouting it out as long as I can't find a single flaw with it. And right now I have not been able to find one. So I will link the one I have and then the one that is on sale at Walmart and you guys can go check them out if you are looking for something similar. Still need ya. I'm weak for That is it for today's video. Thank you all so much for watching and being here every single week. I will be posting again next Sunday and I will see you all then. Bye. Yeah, yeah. Ooh, ooh, ooh.